What's good, everybody? My name's Miguel. Welcome to my channel. It has been a while since I last uploaded, and I just wanted to take the time to say thank you to whoever has watched my video, to whoever has decided to subscribe to my channel, and to the people that have been kind enough to put positive feedback in the comment sections. I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate it. Now, if you weren't around for my last video, basically, I compared the TLM-102 to the Neumann U87AI, and in the process of this comparison, I gave my opinion on what I thought about the TLM-102, which I had on for five years. Compared to the U87 AI, I was kind of biased. I was more towards the TLM-102 just because I was used to it, just because it was something that I knew I could mold to exactly how I wanted it to sound. I only had the U87 AI for three weeks and I was running this through an Apollo Twin X. I didn't have any external preamps. I just used the Unison preamps and I just wasn't feeling the U87 AI. Even though this was one of the microphones I grew up wanting, I, my favorite rappers used the U87 AI. So it was always that end game microphone for me. But once I had it in my hands, I realized that at the end of the day, it just wasn't a microphone that suited my vocals. I know some people in the comments have said that the U87 does sound better on my voice, but honestly, I did not like the way my vocals sounded right after I recorded them because the U87 is a great microphone. It's so good that it brings out the flaws in your voice. So I have a nasaliness to my voice. I have vibrato in my voice. And the U87AI actually emphasized that. So when it came down to EQing, I had to actually do way more EQing than I had to do with the TLM-102. Basically, that was my reason why I wanted to get rid of the U87AI. And luckily, I was able to return it since I only had it for about three weeks. And they gave me 30 days to return it. So I was lucky enough to be able to do that and... I ended up getting the Manly Reference Cardio Microphones. And I got to tell you guys, this microphone is exactly what I have been looking for. So I did run this through the Apollo Twin X. And I do have a comparison for you guys to listen to between the recording I had from the Neumann U87 AI. And I re-recorded that same verse with the Manly Reference Cardio Mic. I tried to level match it and everything. And it's going to be a part of this video. So... Stay tuned for that. Obviously, there's going to be a price difference. So the Neumann U87 AI with the shock mount will run you about $3,600. And the Manly Reference Cardio Mic will run you about $3,000. But it actually includes a lot more than the Neumann does. So I got the mic right here. Check it out. This is the Manly Reference Cardio Mic. It comes... <laughs> It comes with a leather condom, obviously to protect it from any dust um, when you're not using your microphone. So it comes with a leather condom. It also comes with a swivel attachment. Um, this end connects to your microphone stand and this end, you actually screw it to the back of the microphone. And one thing that I did notice that I did not like about this microphone is that it does scratch easily. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's that type of paint that you just rub it off and as good as new another thing i didn't like about the paint is that it does attract a lot of dust and you can actually see it like honestly when i first pulled it out the box i had it on the mic stand for about 15 minutes and they had already started collecting dust i was like damn like it actually you can actually notice it on this microphone but other than that i do think that this is a sexy ass microphone i really love the way it looks me coming up from cheaper microphones i had never seen a microphone that had a built-in shock mount i had never seen this um so it's actually the first for me and i thought it looked pretty cool when i first saw it another thing that it comes with other than you know the condom other than the swivel it actually comes with a power supply and the reason why it comes with the power supply if you're not familiar with this microphone it's actually because this is a tube microphone so it requires a power supply to power it um obviously to power it so this is actually one of the newer power supplies i i'm not really into the technical part of things when it comes to power supplies but i know that it is supposed to be a lot quieter 
than their previous power supplies. It does come with the XLR that connects from the power supply to the microphone, but at the moment I just didn't feel like wrapping it up because it is about 20 feet long. I didn't measure it, I'm just assuming it's about 20 feet long because it's it's way longer than one of the 10 feet XLR cables that I have. So they do have their own custom XLR. It has a seven pin XLR that is included and you connect it from the microphone straight to the power supply and from the power supply you get your your xlr your three pin one and connect it straight into your audio interface so it does come with these things but what really blew my mind what really blew my mind guys was this box right here this is a heavy duty rugged it's it's waterproof also it's it's a carrying case for the manly reference cardio mic it does have slots to put everything well, right now i don't know if you can see but yeah this is where everything was it does come with the manual it does come with the warranty card i already sent in my five-year warranty slip it does come with five years warranty so i really appreciate that so they do try to stay up to date on their social media they do try to put out videos just basically showing you how to maintain your microphone and that's something that i thought was pretty cool that's something that i hadn't seen before basically if you have any like little hum issue there's a video for that if you want to know how to take out the tube from the microphone and replace it yourself they have a video for that so i thought it was pretty cool this microphone like i said does come in at three thousand dollars and i think for three thousand dollars it's at the right price it's a great microphone i love it and i can't wait to show you guys the comparison between the u87ai and this microphone without further ado i'm gonna jump straight into the comparisons so let's get to it guys I've been put work on the daily, tell them ho shut up and pay me, don't want no more general admission, I've been on a mission to get your attention, so lend me your ears, I love music and I've done this for years, I don't got no deal but my flow is ideal, I deal with the bang, you don't know my name, cause I'm at social and I got no fame, I've been put work on the daily, tell them ho shut up and pay me, don't want no more general admission, I've been on a mission to get your attention, so lend me your ears, I love music and I've done this for years, I don't got no deal but my flow is ideal, I deal with the bang, you don't know my name, Cause I'm at so show and I got no fame I've been put work on the daily Tell them ho shut up and pay me Don't want no more general admission I've been on a mission to get your attention So lend me your ears I love music and I've done this for years I don't got no deal but my flow is ideal I deal with the bang You don't know my name Cause I'm at so show and I got no fame I've been put work on the daily Tell them ho shut up and pay me Don't want no more general admission I've been on a mission to get your attention So lend me your ears I love music and I've done this for years I don't got no deal but my flow is I deal, I deal with the pain. You don't know my name, cause I'm at social way, not got no fame. I've been put work on the daily. Tell them, ho, shut up and pay me. Don't want no more general admission. I've been on a mission to get your attention, so lend me your ears. I love music and I've done this for years. I don't got no deal, but my flow is ideal. I deal with the pain. You don't know my name, cause I'm at social way, not got no fame. I've been put work on the daily. Tell them, ho, shut up and pay me. Don't want no more general admission. I've been on a mission to get your attention, so lend me your ears. I love music and I've I've done this for years, I don't got no deal, but my flow is ideal. I deal with the pain, you don't know my name, cause I'm at that social way, not got no fame. Now that you've heard this comparison, let me know your opinion. Let me know what you thought. And be honest, don't be biased, don't be leaning towards annoyment because you own annoyment. If you know you own annoyment, but you really believe that the manly sounds better, be real. Any information that you leave on the comments, someone else is gonna read it. And they're going to probably base their decision on these comments. I'm one of those people that goes into the comment section and I like to read what other people think. And if I see that so many people are bringing down a microphone, I probably won't buy that microphone. You know what I mean? But I just want honest opinions. Personally, I think the Manly does sound a bit brighter. Um, the U87 does sound fuller. You get more of the deeper tones in the U87 than you do in the Manly. I think the Manly does sound a bit um, sibilant. You do kind of hear those S's a bit more. You do kind of get a little bit more air in there. Around the 5, 7K area, I think it is a bit more boosted than the U87. And it kind of is missing a bit of the low end, but I feel like it's still a better fit for my vocal. I feel like the Manly Reference Cardio Mic is great. So since my last video, in the comments, I did have a conversation with someone. And basically what they were saying is that 
with an external preamp, you can open up your microphone to a whole different sound. I'm one of those dudes that try to keep it simple, that's been trying to keep it simple, you know, just have my interface, just have my microphone, and just do everything in the box, everything in my DAW. I didn't want to have to be buying any external hardware. I didn't want to have to be dealing with any of the stress of figuring out how to connect everything, getting extra wires. You know, I didn't want to deal with any of that because I have a small room. This is a 10 by 12 room. It's really small and I really don't have the space for external hardware and all the racks and all that stuff. I don't have the space, you know. I didn't want to get into any of that, but it had me thinking, you know, I might as well try it if I'm trying to achieve a better sound. So I went ahead and I got myself a Heritage Audio preamp. It's based on the 1073 preamp from Neve. It's obviously a clone. It's one of the more affordable ones. And I got to say, I have been using this for about the same amount of time that I've had the Manly. And damn, does it sound good. Yes, the Manly is silibent. It has a good amount of brightness to it. But with this preamp, it like smooths out the brightness. It just like smooths out the highs. And it brings a bit more of the lows. And it just sounds smooth, dude. Like... I'm gonna put a comparison video about it soon. Basically, I'm gonna run the Manly straight through the Apollo Twin X and I will probably use the Neve 1073 preamp plugin in unison. And for the Heritage Audio, I'll just be running the Manly straight into the Heritage Audio preamp going into the Audient ID22. So I will not be using the Apollo Twin X. I will be using the Audient. There is a thing that the Apollo Twin X cannot bypass the preamps. And that is mainly why I don't connect the HA73 EQ into the Apollo Twin X because you cannot bypass the preamps. There is still a 10 decibel gain. You can still get a good sound, but what I noticed is that connecting it to my audience and comparing it to how it sounded connected to the Apollo Twin X, it just sounds so much better on the audience than it does going through the Apollo Twin X and that is no lie. I would like to give more information about this but I'll save that for the next video. So if you guys want to see me compare the Heritage Audio HA73 EQ preamp against the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell that everybody talks about. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Until next time guys, peace.